Uh, this tank is a T100 LT. This is a Russian tier 10 light tank and the map is Sand River. I'm going to get 6,600 spotting damage in this game. Uh, I'm going to do around 850 damage. I'm going to kill one or two tanks. Um, this is a ranked battle. This is when I was in Division 3. I made it through Division 3 primarily spotting. I had to change my tactics because the enemy spotters were a lot better and the enemy scouts are a lot better, so I couldn't do my normal scouting techniques. Uh, so we got 751 uh, spotting damage on that stat patter. Uh, he's going to be out of the game. In fact, he's already out of the game. I got 1,571 damage, three hits uh, spotting damage on that object 277. Uh, the good thing about Division 3 is that the enemy tends to lemming all to one side. They're very predictable, so I did a lot of rear flanking where I would get behind the enemy and shoot them from the rear. Uh, they were very easy to spot. Unfortunately, it's not true in Division 2. In Division 2, passive spotting was impossible. I did virtually no spotting damage in Division 2 because everybody plays hull down behind a ridge line and nobody peeks out and your allies won't peek out to shoot at anybody, so it was really difficult. So we got to focus on getting rid of the enemy scout. You have to know how many enemy light tanks there are, whether they're wheeled vehicles, how fast they might be. Uh, so we see that I'm verifying that the enemy is, is trying to advance in the south. And a lot of them are. I'm going to get a lot of spotting damage. It's going to be 6,600 spotting damage here on the south. Most of my team is on the south. We've got two artilleries, got a lot of good things working for me. I was, you know, it's ranked battles and I'm close to leveling up. So I decided I'm just going to dive over the side to get back in the game because the, uh, the game, the skill is a lot higher. They're very good at shooting me. I really believe that a lot of people are using aim bots because look at the distance on the mini map, how far away they are. And they can hit me with deadly accuracy from that far away. And I am unable to hit them with that good accuracy when I'm trying to shoot light tanks. I really think people are cheating. I have all the great tanks and equipment that they have. I don't run the aim bots. I don't think everybody does it, but I just really am suspicious at how good they are and how fast they fire. Okay, so we're up to 3,400 spotting damage. Normally, I would be next to them and trying to spot them close. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to try to get them at the edge of my yellow circle uh, because I really want to level up to the next rank. Uh, it took a lot of games to do it. I don't know if it took like 200 games or something. Uh, like I said, uh, so that was 1,141 damage on that stat pattern, which was a T110E4. So it took a lot of uh, games to figure out the new tactic. Uh, my aggressive gameplay from random battles does not work in ranked battles. And it's because the enemy scouts are better and the enemy tanks target you a lot faster and their aim is a lot better. So that was 323 on the IS-7. I would love to shoot at those tanks. Also, notice that this is not a good position. This is the way I would play in random battles. But if you're playing in a clan battle or rank battle, you really have to be hull down. Uh, and like I said, you know, I have to adjust my play style. I'm up to 4,990 spotting damage. And I'll have shots on these guys. One of the things that's going to happen is you got to watch their guns. If they suddenly point their guns in your direction, that's a sign you're about to be spotted. And I wasn't doing that. I don't do it often enough because I just really don't pay attention. I, I guess I have too much ADD. I don't pay enough attention when I'm playing the game. You know, I'm always thinking about work and and I lit, watch TV while I'm playing. Even when I'm playing ranked battles, I talk on the phone while I'm playing. You know, so I don't have, it doesn't have my full attention. But that's what you do when you passively spot. And I, obviously good for SPGs and TDs. And I think the reason why I play light tanks has a lot to do with my high ping time. It's 240 milliseconds. Uh, if if you have a high ping time, try a software program called WT Fast. It's a GPN, which is a gaming private network. You route through their worldwide network. I'm in the Philippines playing in Chicago. 
on the Chicago server. When they advance, that's a sign that you might get spotted. So, so that 60TP probably spotted me as he advanced. But because I have lots of hit points, I really don't care too much. If I was a one-shot, I would not have been up on that hill like that. Now, there's a bat chat 25T. He's up in the north, and he's going to advance through. It's going to be a mistake for him because what he doesn't realize is that my whole entire team is going to go after him. He is going to make it through, and we're going to help take him out of the game. I'm up to 5,500 uh, spotting damage. 5,800. So the Fosh and I are going to work on taking out some of the remaining tanks. You notice that that Fosh B has his full hit points left. If I had to do this over again, I would have reversed a little bit to be more hull down. Whenever I die in the game, you see right, right, right now I'm, I'm, well, it's not that great. This is a bad position. And it's, but it is good to angle your tank. You'll know. I, sorry, I can't show you. It's good to keep an angle with the gun pointed somewhat over the corner. This is too much of an angle, but it makes it harder for the enemy to penetrate. So you see that the bat chat advanced. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get him. I thought he was going to be out in the open like a noob, uh, but unfortunately, um, he wasn't. And so he was taken out of the game. So now we basically have the two tanks midfield, the artillery, and the tanks in the south. The best option for me is to go after the tanks in the south. Scores five to three, 6,000 spotting damage. Let's advance. So you see I've decided to go after the IS-7. I love to do hit and run. He's not a one-shot. That is an example of hit and run, what I just did. What you do, you can rewatch it, is you ride along the hill, aim your gun. You get on the top of the hill like this, on the far side of the hill, aim your gun, and then after you fire, you head down, down the hill. You notice that I switch the side of the hill as I'm advancing on the T110E4. So the smart thing to do is get back on the other side, Get behind him, because he can't point his gun at the Fosh and at me. Unfortunately, I'm going to do this wrong because the Kronwagen is there. I really effed it up. But I had the right idea. But what I should have done was gone that way, and I didn't. I turned around and came back, and it was a huge mistake. I didn't realize he was reversing so much. You know, I'm not thinking skilled player. I'm thinking that this guy is a noob, just like everyone else in random battles. All those tanks are going to disappear. Uh, we're going to have to deal with the Kronwagen. Me and the Fosh are going to deal with the Kronwagen. There he is. I'm going to line up for a shot on him. Watching his gun. You, hovering your, your pointer over the tank can help you indicate where his gun is pointing uh, because it can be kind of difficult to see. I'm doing this so I can still spot him and dive for cover if he spots me. So you notice that you stay low when you don't want to get spotted. And I'm looking for the path uh, where I can stay the lowest to get this conqueror. And I use the auto aim because I focus on driving. I don't want to stop. I want to pay attention to the mini map and... and a lot of times, there's times that what you'll see me do is I will have the auto aim on one tank with the gun locked on him, but then I will point my little cursor towards the next target so that I fire the gun and the tank is already aimed at the next target. That's a technique I use for auto aim. I'm, I know I want to do hit and run, but I have to find, well, how am I going to get the right angle on this guy? And this is where I'm, I'm making my run for the hit and run. And he's out of the game. It would be nice if somebody thanked you once in a while. So if you notice in the chat, uh, the Fosh is going to say thanks, and I'm going to say affirmative. And there's the thanks from the Fosh, 
and that's the game. Uh, that was 6,600 spotting damage, 6,400 was reported in the game. I didn't do any blind shots. I had 850 damage and two kills.